just so tired. Um, me and Scott got up at like 6am. No, 5. We got up at 5 to go to the gym. It's killing me. I'm glad to get my gym out of the way before like 7am, but I'm just like knackered for the rest of the day. Um, hi, hello, uh, my name's Galax, or my name's Joel, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm filming on my phone today, let me know if you prefer a video film on my phone as opposed to my little Canon G7X camera. I just started filming on it and I was like, not loving how it was looking. Good thing about it is so I had a screen that flips up so I could see myself, whereas now I can just, just have to look into the camera at you guys. Today, as you can see from the title, is a boot unboxing, Balenciaga boot unboxing. Um, I wore these in Paris for Paris Fashion Week and the Balenciaga Summer 24 show, which was in my last vlog. If you want to come with me to Paris and to the Balenciaga show, I was very lucky enough to be invited yet again by the Balenciaga team. And these boots were sent to me by Flannels. Um, if you've not checked out Flannels, you definitely should. I'll link the boots in the description box below. I get a lot of my high-end pieces from Flannels, Balenciaga, Saint Laurent, um, stuff like that, because they have really good deals on now and again. Um, they have like a huge outlet section and they have good discounts as well. So you should check it out if you haven't already. Uh, these boots are currently full price at the time of filming this video, but I literally went on them the other week and they were maybe like 20% off. So you should just keep an eye on everything on the flannel side because it's really good. Um, so yeah, check link in the description box below if you want to check them out. Uh, so these are the Santiago Booty and they are from the Fall 23 collection, which was the collection the sh that they never had a show for. So we didn't know what this collection was gonna look like until the fitting room campaign came out uh, this year. And I love this collection so much. There's so many cool pieces in it. There's so many like highlights. They actually do these Santiago booties in a thigh high version, just like the, the Hummer boots that I have. Um, did I ever do a YouTube video on my Hummer boots? I don't know if I did, because I got them just before I went to Tokyo. Maybe I did. If I didn't, and you want one, let me know, because I'll do one. Um, the Santiago booty, yeah, it comes in a booty, it comes in a mule, and it comes in a thigh high as well. And they're all so, so nice. I love the shape of the toe. So this is obviously not <laughs> real, a real unboxing, because I've already worn these so much. But this is just for your benefit, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, you get a dust bag for each of the boots. They are huge. I feel like because they're so exaggerated, I just feel like the actual boot itself is ginormous. Um, so yeah, you can see all of the detailing. You can see like the slow curve up of the leather here and then the sole as well. I would advise that you kind of crisscross the soles with scissors or something because I literally felt like I was going to slip so many times. Um, like when they come, they're obviously very new and shiny and very slippy. I've obviously worn these around Paris and London, so now they're a bit worn in. But this is what I want. I want the leather to soften. I want them to break in. Um, they're very comfortable, by the way. I've worn these uh, for many days in a row and they're super super comfy um here you can get a closer look look of the zip detail so it's a black on black situation and then inside the calfskin leather um yeah they're just a very very cool piece i love how the sole uh steps out from the boot as well um, so you have this like step layer almost um, and then you've got like the square witchy boot end. Uh, yeah, I'm obsessed. I think they're really cool. So this collection had a lot of like tiny hoodies with hoods up, big blazers, cropped blazers. It had um, boot cut jeans, which looks so good over the Santiago booty. I've been wearing my Arcana denim, destroyed denim over them and I think they look perfect 
because um, the Arcana Denim isn't too wide and it's not too skinny, they just kind of like sit perfectly over them. Um, flannels, the smallest size they had was a 42, so I am a size 42, but usually in Balenciaga shoes or boots I size down to a 41 because they always, most of the time, fit big. Um, so I have a 42 in these, so they are a little big on me, um, and they're already like exaggerated boots anyway. Um, as you can see here, oh my god, the smell smells so good. As you can see here, from where I've been wearing them, this is where my toe, my toes kind of end. So this is all just like empty space, the exaggerated toe box, and it's squared off on the end. Um, thankfully, they have a zip because I've got a couple pairs of boots that I take them about 10 minutes to get on, on and off just because there's no zip. Um, so I love that these have a zip fastening on the side. They've got like a reinforced section of leather here where it goes up the leg. I really like how high up the leg they go as well. They remind me of like a cartoon character shoe. Um, who's that guy? Dick Dastardly from, um, I forgot the name of that cartoon because it's so old. Also the guy from Minions, Gru. That's how I feel in this style icon. I love just how big and outlandish they are. They really add like a flair to any like regular outfit. Like the other day I was just wearing like my distressed, destroyed denim with like a denim jacket and then these boots and I felt like they really rev things up a notch because like I could have just worn sneakers or a regular shoe but these were like hard hitters if you know what I mean like they really elevate any outfit. From the Balenciaga site it says they are matte calfskin, booty with square toe, exaggerated at the toes, inner zip closure, tone on tone, sole, made in Italy, white with a soft cloth. Uh, on the Balenciaga site, they're 1390. And on flannels, they're also 1390. Flannels have got a 42, 43, and a 44 at the moment. But like I said, keep an eye out for discounts on the flannels site. If we take a quick look at the Fall 23 campaign, you can see the Santiago booty or the thigh highs paired with blazers, puffer jackets, we see them with a gilet, we see them we see them with wide leg trousers with a parka, we see them with a boot cut denim with a hoodie and a blazer, we see them with jeans and a long overcoat. They really can be styled in so many ways. I think they're a really versatile shoe, definitely a good investment. I've definitely been wearing them to death and I've only had them for like just under two weeks, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of a lot more use out of them. You can even see on like the the boots themselves already, like how much I've worn them because the leather is like getting softer and molding and like showing that wear and tear, which I think is the most beautiful part of clothing is when you can start to see the distressing from day to day wear. So I'm gonna to cut to showing you um, me putting them on and trying them on with some different trousers as well so you can see how they can be styled with different things. So look, very easy to, to slide on. The thing is my toe is going to about here and then this is the exaggerated part. I don't know if a 41 would be too small to be honest. So this is it with the Arcana Destroyed Denim. We have very few sizes of these left um, on arcana.co.uk. Uh, I wear a waist 32 and I'm a 32, so I'd stick to a regular size. Um, I think we're sold out of 32s actually, but we have a few left in all other sizes. Um, so yeah, grab them while you can. So here it is with a pair of smart tailored trousers. This is what I wore to the show with one of my blazers with exaggerated shoulders. But as you can see, I'll do a bit of walking for you. You kind of have to like lift your whole foot um, as if you're wearing like, you know when people in the snow when they have those like tennis rackets on their feet? It's kind of like that. Because you want to make sure that the, the toe bit clears, if you know what I mean. Especially stairs are tricky. Stairs you might want to do like a sideways moment. Because there's quite a few times that I've been going upstairs and then the exaggerated toe bit has caught on the step in front. Uh, maybe it's because my feet are 
I was going to say so big, but this is like one of the smaller men's sizes. So actually I have quite small feet in the realm of men's feet. Um, but yeah, I love how they look with smart trousers as well. And now I want to show you some vintage leather trousers that I should wear more often, to be honest. I don't wear them, but these are obviously a bit skinnier than the past couple pairs of trousers that I've shown you. Um, but I think with the tight, I think with the tight leg opening of these boots and how it like, like sucks in and goes really tight there, I think it looks good with these skinny trousers because it's not like the boot is then resting on the top of the. It's not like the trouser is then resting on the top of the boot, if you know what I mean. It like completely covers it and it's kind of like seamless. Um, but yeah, I love how it looks with these leather trousers as well. So that is it for my Santiago booty uh, video. If you want to see a 24 hours in them video where I just literally wear them for 24 hours and go through the day with you, vlog my day then let me know in the comments. I love doing those for you guys. Um, if you have any questions about the fit, like I said, size down. But if you do have more questions, uh, then let me know in the comments. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know that you like it, like what I'm doing. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.